The graph of y is equal to x squared minus 2x is shown. Find the gradient of the graph at x is equal to 3 and where on the graph is the gradient equal to 0. So here we got a graph of y is equal to x squared minus uh, 2x. But before we look at that, we've got to really look what we mean by the gradient on, of a graph, because up to now we've done gradients of straight lines. So here we have uh, y is equal to x squared minus 2x. Now this GeoGebra app, will link to it will be in the notes of the um, of the of this video. Now, if I click here and I draw see a line, we can see here a point P moving along the curve, and we see this blue line here. Now, the blue line is called a tangent to the curve, and the tangent of the curve you can see changes the gradient of that changes throughout its domain of the curve. So, if I wherever I move this along the curve. The tangent is going to uh, change here. For example, the gradient is negative. Here, the gradient will be equal to zero, which is the one of the questions we have to answer. And here, the gradient will be uh, positive. Okay, so this is the point where the gradient is equal to uh, three. So what you've got to do in an exam is you've got to draw a line so that it does touch it's the curve at the point p so you've got to kind of keep this angle here and this angle here the same when you draw your tangent with a ruler okay and then what you do to calculate the gradient of the curve you use the change in y divided by the change in x so it's going to be this is this distance is four divided by one which gives a gradient of four so that's how you actually do it. So let's um, go back to this. So let's now do it by hand. So the gradient of the curve changes along its domain, as I've just shown you. One way to estimate it is uh, at a particular point is to draw a tangent by an I. Now that's actually quite difficult to do. So first we've got to identify the point, which is this point here. This is where x is equal to 3. Okay, so mark on that point, we're going to call that point P. And then you've got to take your ruler and put it so that the angle here is the same as the angle here. Now, it's very hard to, to do by eye. And when you do exercises on this, there will be, um, you won't get the exact answer to any textbook or any exam question. So there's a little bit of a leeway here. There is actually a way of calculating it, which we'll look at later. So we're sort of trying to keep that distance the same as that distance, it means moving your ruler, pivoting about that point. Okay, and then once you've found the correct position, you draw in a line like I've just done here, and that's called the tangent. And what you do is you calculate the gradient of that tangent, and that will give you the um, gradient of the curve at that particular point. Okay, as you know, the gradient changes. So you've identified the point. Now, then what we've got to do now is to calculate the gradient. So the gradient at the tangent is the change in y divided by the change in x. So you need to put in, to so identify another convenient point. So the change in y will be that. That's going to be 4 in this case. And the change in x will be that one there which will be 1 in this case. Now you also need to be particularly careful to note whatever the scale is on either the axis. Here we have the same scale, but not always do we have the same scale. So check the scales carefully when you are doing this. Okay, so then the gradient is going to be 4 divided by 1. So you need to put some sort of working so the examiner can see what you've done. That gives you an answer of 4. And therefore, the gradient of y is equal to x squared minus 2x when x is equal to 3 is 4. Now you also ask where is the gradient of the curve equal to zero? If we go back to the GeoGebra applet, let's just get rid of the slope thing for a minute, and then we'll move this back here to this particular point. You'll see here, at this particular point, the at this particular point here, the tangent is a horizontal line. So horizontal lines have a gradient of zero. So ten, ten, ten. Um, Horizontal uh, gradients of zero tend to occur where we have what's known as a turning point. 
Okay, but it's not the only, only place where we would have a horizontal uh, gradient, which we can look at later. So this point here, when x is equal to 1, will give me where the uh, gradient is uh, equal to 0. So to answer the last part, so this particular point here, the gradient has, uh, the curve of the gradient is 0 at x is equal to 1. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the gradient of a curve uh, by drawing a tangent using a ruler. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.